I've had just in the last 48 hours the opportunity to speak to more scientists, more researchers, more engineers, uh, more Nobel laureates, uh, more CEOs of companies large and small than I have quite literally in years. I had the opportunity to uh, have conversation with Tim Cook who stepped up and he said in addition to the two million masks that the Vice President said he would donate to the American people uh, this year and this week he's going to additionally provide one million just for the state of California. Elon Musk uh, working overtime at Tesla to see if he can work with companies large and small, Philips and others, to see if he can start working up components on ventilators. And he announced to me today that he's going to provide 250,000 masks today for healthcare uh, professionals just in the state of California. Uh, also committing uh, to over 1,000 ventilators just in a few days, the state of California working through his supply chains and partnerships. Companies large and small, I was talking small company that does a little bit of manufacturing up in Santa Rosa, said they want to convert their manufacturing facility to help uh, sew masks. Same with the Seamtrust down in Los Angeles, down in the Garment District, said they'll do the same thing. Not only that, the largest companies, some of the largest manufacturers uh, that happen to be based in the state of California, like the Gap, saying, we're ready to convert, we're ready to meet this moment, tell us what you need. Hospitals, credible philanthropy, uh, people that are literally sending planes to China on their own dime and bringing back resources and support uh, from all around the world. It's quite literally not an exaggeration. It's not an exaggeration at all. I imagine governors all across uh, this country are experiencing the same thing. It's ennobling and it makes you feel like we truly can meet this moment. Let me give you a specific. I, I know a lot of folks in this country are talking about, well, it's time to start imposing ourselves from a federal perspective, long lines we've done in war a little bit during Katrina uh, as it relates to the Defense uh, Production Act. And, and I think that's a healthy conversation. Let me say that's already happening here in the state of California. Here's a specific proof point. Uh, we reached out uh, to KR, who runs a Bloom Energy uh, in the state of California, a manufacturer here in the state, well known to Californians, particularly in the green energy space. Uh, KR said, what do you need? We're ready to go. And we said, well, t why don't we test this? Uh, you produce these remarkable fuel cells that are power fuel cells. Uh, you've got all kinds of technical uh, capacity. We have all of these old ventilators that, are be uh, that we've been storing for years. They have to be repurposed. The manufacturer said the following. To repurpose about 200 of them is going to take a month. We challenge you to do more and do better. And so KR sent me a photo today, not making this up, of 24 specific ventilators that he got done just in a few hours. And he says, come down, certify these, inspect them. And if, that's, if these things are certified and we're confident you're going to sign off, give us the rest. We're ready to go to task. We're already repurposing in this country. We're already repurposing in the state of California. Reached out to Elon Musk, said the same, says, look, I'm on this, not just for Tesla, but SpaceX. I know other people have been calling him all across the country. He's not just looking, I don't want to speak out of school uh, on the ventilator side and the parts side, but he's also looking with his remarkable capacity on 3D, 3D printing uh, and other things that he could provide. So you're already seeing this manifest, uh, certainly in the state of California, and I got to imagine uh, that is replicated in other parts of the country. And so uh, I just, I hope folks know that. Uh, and uh, those are just two very specific proof points.